along with the rest of the night. Like, I'm pretty sure that he doesn't have an accent. Oh, well, I think she does. Well, I don't think so. She does. Well, where was the garden? I don't know. Exactly. Besides, all the pretty girls are from the south. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. So, uh, hey guys, uh, I'm Adam. And I'm Eve. Welcome to our humble abode of paradise. Before we begin our skit, I'm just going to have a couple words. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just a couple things here before anybody says any more stuff about the garden. Um, so, we have a retreat coming up, y'all. Woo! 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 Yay! So, if you guys have not got your forms in, we need to get those from you tonight. Um, if you don't have them, still come, okay? We still want you to come. Just get your forms to Angela, to Brandon. If you don't give them to me, I will lose them, and you'll have to do it again. So, that's the biggest announcement we've, announcement we've got. The other thing is band camp. For all those of you guys who have musical talents, I'm looking for people to sing with me and to play and rock out, especially for the retreat. So, if you have musical talents, come up and talk to me after this whole night's over and we'll discuss further feats. What if you work an exotic Okay, awesome. Sweet. Woo! All right. Okay guys, so tonight, uh, going along with the apple thing, um, we're going to do bobbing for apples. What do you guys think? I guess I want you to know. Oh my goodness! Yeah. What is 
So that's why you're not allowed to Okay, anyway, let's go. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Dear E, do you like me? Check yes or no. <laughs> Just an identified 
gonna go wrong? Okay. Like, it's okay. And then God showed up. <laughs> oh, snake. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Adam and Eve had everything they could ever even you know, imagine that they would need. You know, God provided for them so perfectly. Um, and you know, he gave them just this simple commandment. You, know, you can eat out of any of these trees, any of these bushes. And you, can you imagine how many that is? I mean, that must have been like brilliant. But he told them, you know, there, you cannot eat off of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. That was it. Well, you know how it is. You know, when someone tells you, you know, don't do this, what is it? All of a sudden, that looks, you know, really, sometimes it looks like really intriguing. We're like, ooh, what will happen if I do this? Um, and if, whatever, when I think about that, I think of like a little kid at Christmas who, you know, his mom tells him, don't look in that box underneath the tree because there's a surprise. And then within five minutes, it's all he can think of. And, you know, I think that's probably the way it was for Eve. When she saw that apple, you know, I think that this devil is so, you know, clever. He's not stupid, y'all. He knows exactly how to get us. You know, we joke him, like that. But you know, honestly, he, he knows where our weaknesses are. He knows where to get it. And you know, Eve, we all know she she gave that apple to Adam, and she ate it, and he ate it, and they messed up, and they disobeyed God. And, you know, in the Bible, it says that then, after they did that, then it says, then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized that they were naked. And so, I don't know about y'all, but when I first read that, I was like, does that mean that, like, before that, they were, like, all, you know, naive and stupid, and they were like, la, 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 la. And then after that, you know, they all of a sudden, they had this impartial wisdom, and, you know, they knew all that. Well, no, actually, before the fall, they did not have any mark of sin. You know, they saw each other so purely, and they were in this perfect relationship, you know, with God and with each other. But, you know, after the fall, when they dis disobeyed God, original sin came into the world. And that, it was like this veil kind of dropped, and they no longer had that ability to be in that perfect relationship with each other and with God. Um, because of that sin, because of that choice. Um, but what I want to invite you guys to do now is to think about a time when you disobeyed, say, your parents. Maybe you stayed out past you know, your curfew, or maybe you took the car, you know, when you, you know, you weren't supposed to, you didn't ask, or maybe, you know, you watched that movie that you were told do not watch it, and you know, I don't know, maybe at the time it was like. My parents are so old. How are they ever going to know what I'm going through, you know? I can make my own decisions, you know? But when your parents found out, I'm sure that it, it really hurt them. And it hurt them that you chose to not trust them, not trust their judgment. And, you know, I don't know, if you're like me, you probably felt really ashamed or hurt that you broke that trust. But here's the thing. When we mess up, do our parents ever like completely stop loving us and say, you're out? Most of the time, I mean, unless in extreme circumstances, I don't think of any time you know, that that happens. Our parents love us so much. And even though it hurts them immensely, when we choose to disobey them, I promise, you know, when they give us those consequences for those actions, it's for our own good and it's out of love for us. And you know, God is the same way, only he is in a much more perfect way. You know, when Adam and Eve sinned and they ate that apple, it hurt God so much because he had provided for his children and they chose to not, to not follow that. But the thing was is that he did not just cut it off there, you know. He, even though he gave them consequences like having to work or having, you know, those pains at childbirth, he still loved them. And if you read on in the story, you can see he does continue to provide for them and give them blessings. And he does the same for us. Just when we mess, you know, like when we mess up or when we make bad decisions in life, he doesn't just cut it all off there. He keeps on loving us. And so that's really the heart of the message that I want to give you guys today, is that when we read the story of Adam and Eve, you know, even though they messed up, God still loved them. He what's more is that he sent he sent a savior. To, to redeem us and to redeem those decisions. And so that's just
just my talk for tonight. Um, I hope I really want to encourage you guys in the next week to go back and reread, you know, this story for your own selves and ask God, you know, to open up your heart and to, to touch those areas that maybe you need a little extra.